What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to achieve the parallax effect in your scrolling background. Now there are, there are many different ways to achieve the parallax effect. It kind of depends upon what the situation is. First let me explain what the parallax effect is in case you don't know. The parallax effect basically gives you the illusion of uh, depth within a 2D scrolling scene. So if you have a couple of different uh, background layers and they are all scrolling you can make them scroll at different speeds and so that's going to give the illusion of depth that is what you call the parallax effect I've done a video pre previously on uh, one method of achieving the parallax effect and this is going to be a video on another method like I said earlier it kind of depends upon the situation uh, you, you can use there are many different ways to achieve the parallax effect and it kind of depends upon what the situation is. Alright, before we start the tutorial, you need to download these three images. So, check the description of the video. I have provided a link to these images. Once you have downloaded and imported the images into Unity, after that, come back and continue watching the video. Alright, now assuming you've downloaded and imported the images, let's begin. What we have here is an empty scene with our main camera and of course these three images imported into Unity. The first thing we need to do is add all of them to the scene. Select these three images and change their position on X and Y to 0. So it's in the center. Next, you need to select layer 1 and layer 2 and scale it just make it a little wide okay next select layer 2 and make a copy of it call it layer 1.5 this is going to go between this layer and this black layer so that's why we are calling it 1.5 change its color to gray but don't don't make it uh, black because then you won't be able to distinguish between this layer and this layer also all right next we need to set the Z values of each of these layers so main camera is negative 10 so we can make layer 0 at 0 layer 1 at negative 1 layer 2 at negative 2 and layer 1.5 at negative 1.5 alright now select layer 0 and add a new script to it you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it parallax script or 2 open it up in mono develop Alright, here first you need to add a public transform called this cam. This is where we are going to store the position of our camera. Next, public float, move speed. This is going to, well, you'll see soon. Next, in the update method, transform.position equals new vector 3. We are basically setting a new position for the transform. cam dot position dot x multiplied by move speed that is on the x value and for y and z we can just for now keep it transform dot position dot y and transform dot position dot z alright what's happening here is we are setting a new position for our transform in this case the transform will be the transform of layer 0 and eventually for all these layers because we'll be attaching this script to all the layers and over here we are basically saying that the Y value of the position should be camera the cameras X position multiplied by move speed 
Now, if this doesn't make sense to you right now, don't worry. Just go with it. Eventually, you'll understand once uh, you see the parallax effect. All right, so save the script and go back to Unity. You see over here this empty cam variable. You need to drag main camera into this and also set a move speed. But wait, before that, right click Parallax Script O2 and click Copy Component. Then select these three layers and right click here or even on transform it's fine and click paste component as new that's going to create a new component in all three of these and it's going to have this main camera value because you copied the previous component all right now we can set different speeds for our uh, backgrounds so layer 0 can be 0 0.1 because we want this to move really slow layer 0 is this moon Layer 1 can be 0 0.3, layer 2 can be 0, actually leave layer 2 as it is, layer 2 is this and this is going to be our uh, mid-ground, not our background, so we don't exactly want it to move. It's already going to look like it's moving because the camera is uh, passing by it. Alright, so layer 1.5 can be 0 0.3. Next, we need to add a move script to our camera. Okay, the camera's frustrum is uh, quite big, so make this small so that the scene looks big, at least in the camera. Then add a new script, call it move script 02. You can name it whatever you want. And this is going to be a simple script to move the camera. So public float move speed, then float edge input dot get axis horizontal multiplied by move speed, and then the same thing here, but float v equals input dot get axis vertical okay what's happening here is in this line this is going to check whether the A or D or the left or right arrow keys are being pressed and this line is going to check whether W or S or the up or down arrow keys are being pressed um, in, in both cases the value is going to be either in both cases being in this case and in this case the value is going to be between negative 1 and positive 1 and that value is going to get multiplied by move speed and next transform dot translate new vector 3 h v 0 now set move speed to 0 0.2 and let's run the game and see how well it works as you can see in both the game view and in the scene view the backgrounds are scrolling at different speeds you can see the moon over here is moving at the slowest speed if this light blue background is a little distracting to you you can change it from here select the camera and click background and you can change it to a slightly darker shade now run the game all right so we've got horizontal parallax scroll over here but not vertical so let's go fix that go back to mono develop and go back to parallax script o2 this line over here transform dot position dot y change it to cam dot position dot y multiplied by move speed 
and just like that you now have both horizontal and vertical scroll you can play with the speeds and see what kind of effect you get of course uh, you'll notice over here that they are all moving in the camera's direction that is not necessary you can change one of the values to, to negative so let's say layer 1 or layer 1.5 Let's change it to negative 0 0.4 rather than positive 0 0.4. Now when you run the game, the camera is moving towards the right, but the layer 1.5 is actually moving towards the left. So this is another method of achieving the parallax effect in your scrolling background again this is not the only method there are many different ways to achieve the parallax effect it completely depends upon the situation I hope this tutorial was helpful do check out these other videos as well the video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer the video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares and on the bottom left is a playlist for the unity 4.6 UI tools series I'm also accepting donations, so if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Yo, started out with nothing, then I turned myself to something Everybody wanna claim a nigga when they hear you buzzing Don't nobody wanna claim you when they hear you bugging Not known to tell stories, not known for fronting